A moment ago, you heard from the president's national security advisor. Now let's get the perspective of the president's opponent in the 2008 presidential campaign, Republican Senator John McCain of Arizona, a leading voice in his party on defense and national security issues. Senator, just let me ask you off the top quite simply, how do you view this evening? Is it a significant milestone, and what is the president's challenge? Well, I, th I think it is a milestone, uh, and I think the president pointed out today <coughs> at uh, when he spoke to our troops, uh, I believe it was Fort Bliss, um, that um, there's still a lot of work to be done and it's not over, but uh, it is significant that we have succeeded. And so I agree with uh, General Jones's remarks who, who just preceded me that um, we should give, and I appreciate the fact that the president's giving such great credit to the men and women who are serving. Uh, Congressman Keith Ellison, a liberal Democrat, was on the program earlier, and he made crystal clear that he doesn't buy what the president is going to tell the American people tonight about Afghanistan, and that he has a number of questions, and he believes Afghanistan, in his view, these are, I'm paraphrasing his words, is much like Iraq, and it's gone on too long, and it's time to go. When, will Republicans stand by the president, the Democratic president, when it comes to the Afghanistan policy, or we're in a political season, but we see more partisanship? Well, first of all, could I mention... It would be nice if the president would mention tonight that the strategy of the surge was originated by President Bush and that President Obama opposed it and opposed it to the point where he wanted to vo he voted to cut off all funds uh, for operations in Iraq. Um, the fact is that uh, it is of great concern, despite what my friend Jim Jones just said about the perception all throughout the area, whether it be in uh, Afghanistan or Pakistan or India or Iran, that this date certain for withdrawal, it means that uh, we are going to be leaving uh, regardless of conditions. And I appreciate what General Jones just said. I appreciate what Secretary Gates has said and Secretary Clinton. But the fact is the perception is out there that we are beginning to leave no matter what the beginning of next year and the president has to say that. The president has to say that it's condition based and conditions based only and that message is not getting through. In fact, uh, that's why you see Karzai saying some of the things he's saying. Pakistanis are making certain adjustments. The Taliban are telling. I was down in, outside Kandahar, a police chief said, yeah, the Taliban are telling us that you're leaving, you Americans are leaving the middle of next year and we're going to cut off your heads. Well, my colleague Wolf Flitzer raised some of your concerns earlier with General Jones' deputy, Dennis McDonough. I want you to listen to how Dennis McDonough responded. Well, we've had a debate on and off over the last couple of years with uh, Senator McCain. Obviously, a couple of years ago, he was saying that the central front in the war on terrorism was in Iraq. That's obviously proven to be wrong. Uh, would you like to respond uh, a little back and forth there? No, except to say that obviously we had to win in Iraq. And if we hadn't succeeded in Iraq, and by the way, General Odierno, I, I respect those quotes you have, but many conversations I've had with him and General Petraeus is that uh, it's very tough sledding in Iraq, but uh, they're not going to go back to the chaos and anarchy that existed before the surge uh, began. Of course, we had to succeed in Iraq, and we can succeed in Afghanistan, but we can't send the message that we're not there to succeed, that an artificial date is guiding our strategy. Senator John McCain of Arizona, congratulations, sir, on your recent primary win. We'll continue to track the campaign in the days ahead, as well as your thoughts on these important national security issues. Senator, appreciate your time tonight. When we come back tonight, we're